Let's look at the case when FS has multiple poles. And for in this case, let's see here I have S minus Z1 over S minus P1 square. In this case, FS has um, FS has has multiple poles. Multiple may mean multiple identical poles at um, at P one, right? At this at this pole. So what you do is you can uh, factor this pole first, factor this out, so that you have um, so you will end up with one. Uh, let's see, uh, s minus z one over. Uh, you can factor this out. Let's see. I factor this s minus p one, one over s minus p one, and what I'm left with is s minus z one over s minus p one times s minus p two. I mean, here we see that p one is not equal to p two, right? And uh, so in this case, this one here, this is the proper. And um, proper uh, function, proper with simple poles, right? Simple poles. So we can work on this one for sure. And uh, so that's how we do this. And once you work on that, and you can um, uh, you can uh, continue uh, continue this process until you break this to the partial fractions that are recognizable using the uh, the uh, uh, Laplace trans transform pairs. Maybe we it's easier to just explain this process using the example here. Okay, so let's look at this example here. We have an FS, so we have the multiple poles at uh, at the pole negative one there, right? So therefore, we will do is FS is going to be equal one over s plus one, and what's inside is going to be three s plus four divided by s plus 1 plus s plus 2 uh, times f s plus 2. Let's call this f1 s. So the f1 s we can do the partial fraction expansion, right? So the f1 s is going to be equal k1 over s plus 1 plus k2 over s plus um, 2. By the way, based on some residues, k1 plus k2 should be equal to 0 or 3. Let's look at the order of this numerator in fs. That's 1, right? m equal to 1. So for fs, m equal to 1, n is equal to 2. So therefore, this is the case m plus 1 is equal to n. Therefore, k1 plus k2 should be equal to the scale factor, which is uh, bm, which is 3, 3 over 1, right? k1, k2 should be equal to 3. So keep in mind as we work on these uh, the residues. So k1 is going to be equal s plus 1 times fs. And we evaluate at s equal minus 1. And that's equal to 3 s plus 4 divided by s plus 1 being canceled. Right? So s plus 2. And s equal minus 1. So the number is super easy. So this should be 9. And the k2 should be equal to negative 6. If we don't make any mistake, uh, let me double check on this. So the numerator one, uh, the numerator is three times three, right? The denominator is one, so this is nine. So k two is equal to s plus two times f s, and we evaluate that s equal negative two, and that should be equal three times s plus four, and divided by s plus one. Because s plus two being cancelled, right? S plus one, so we evaluate s minus uh, at negative two. So in this case, and uh, we have three times four minus two, which is three times two six, and on uh, the denominator we have a negative one. So this should be negative six. Looks like correct, right? So now we have f s is equal to uh, if it's equal to 1 over s plus 1 times uh, the k1 is 9 over s plus 1, right? Plus uh, k2 is negative 6. Just do the minus 6. 
minus 6 over s plus 2. And multiply them out, we get 9 over s plus 1 squared plus minus 6 over s plus 1 and s plus 2. Now we need to do partial fraction inspection again. right? So in this case, let's call this one here f2. So we, this f2s does not uh, include a negative negative sign. If you include, that's fine also. You just keep that in, uh, in mind. So in the, here, I'm not including that. So f2s is going to be equal, let's see, k3 over s plus 1 plus k4 s plus 2. And in this case, it's clear k3 plus k4 should be equal to 0 because for F2, we have the order of the numerator is 0, and the, uh, the order of the denominator is, is 2, right? So K3 would be equal to S plus 1, multiply Fs2, F2S, and then we value this at S equal negative 1, which is uh, 6. Remember, we don't include that um, negative sign F2S. So f s plus 1 being canceled s plus 2, so we evaluate this as minus 1. So this is going to be equal to 6. And k4 should be equal to negative 6 s plus 2 based on some residues. f2s and s equal to negative 2, which is 6 over s plus 1. We evaluate at the negative 2. And that's equal to 6 divided by negative 1, which is negative 6. Right. So therefore, we have fs equal to uh, 9 over s plus 1 square minus the k3 over s plus 1. k3 is 6, right? 6 minus 6 over s plus 1. And then minus k4, because we have negative sign there, minus k4. k4 is negative 6, so we plus 6 over s plus 2. And therefore, we get the inverse Laplace transform of Fs, which is Ft, should be equal to the first term we based on the S, <coughs> the S domain translation property. And we have, um, we know that 1 over S square is the Laplace transform of the ramp function, right? Based on integration property, um, because ramp function is the integration of the <coughs> excuse me, is the um, integration of the unit step function, right? So therefore, the first term here should be equal 9 times e2 minus t and times t times ut. That's for the first term. And the second term here should be 6 times e2 minus t times ut. Here again, we utilize the um, estimate translation property and plus 6 times e2 minus 2t times um, ut, right? And if you want to write this uh, in a slightly better form, not that much different. So let's see if you, you can factor this ut out. So we factor maybe the the negative t out, uh, e to the power negative t out, and then you will have e9 times t and minus 6 uh, plus 6 times e2 minus t, right, and times the ut. So that's the inverse Laplace transform, right? Uh, that's the simple example of, examples of these two special cases that we covered, right, and very useful uh, uh, rule, which is sum of residues, which is very helpful when you do the calculation by hand. Of course, if you do uh, the Python code or or MATLAB, you won't you won't be able to uh, uh, you don't need these rules. But if you calculate by hand, it's it's very useful to give you a check on the residues and whether you get them right or not, right? And so that's it for uh, today's lecture. And remember, um, no matter what you do, just keep going, and never stop, right? Until next time, just uh, continue to do what you do. Okay, see you next time.